Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and welcome to our third and final part of the soccer game. When we've finished building the game, this is pretty much what it's going to look like here. All right, so you can score goals. Yeah. If it goes out of bounds, you lose a life. Yeah. I've just lost two lives. You start off with five yeah. lives. All right, and uh, when you get down to zero lives, as we'll let it just do right now, uh, maybe one more goal, yeah. okay. We're down to one life, yeah. no lives. Notice how it says no lives left on our guy and game over, and that's it. So let's get to work in Scratch and see how we can take our part two game and turn it into this final part three game. All right, this is uh, the part two game where we set up the goal net and had some script on it. Now we could try and do the scoring here, but a problem will happen as you'll see. We go to the orange one here, variables to do scoring, and we need to make a variable. All right, so we'll make the variable called score, and okay. Now what we can do is we need to, at the start here, we'll set the score down to zero, and then, uh, what we'll have happen is that we'll change the score by one uh, when a goal is scored, all right? So over here you can see we've got a score uh, on the screen now, which we can move around, but let's try play the game and see what happens. All right, we better get good at this. All right, notice we got a score of 15 there after we only got one goal. What happens is the ball wiggles around in the goals heaps of times hitting them, and so it hit them 15 times, all right? So that's not gonna be any good. So we need to uh, take this out of here, and we'll just take it over to the side and discard it, and we'll take that one out and discard it, and just leave the goals like this. So when the ball touches them, we'll broadcast goal. All right, back on the ball, uh, we'll set everything up to score off the ball, all right? And this will work a lot better so at the start here we need to move these blocks on the ball script and just in our variables on our orange one here we will set the score to zero to start the game all right now when we will uh, put the score up is fairly easy and where that's going to happen is just before we say goal here we'll change the score by one all right, to uh, score one when the goal is scored. So let's just try that out over here on the right-hand side and start the game. All right, and the game doesn't want to start for some reason because we didn't stop the last one, probably. All right. Okie dokie, we didn't have a block snapped in properly and that's why I wasn't starting. Okay, let's start it now. We've scored our goal, didn't move our guy out of bounds. Notice the score up here, though, is only one. So that's working a lot better, all right? So that's um, how we're going to score uh, in our game. Okay, then, now we need to work on the player lives. So what we're going to do is each time it goes out of bounds, rather than stop the game, we'll have um, the player lose a life. And we'll give him, say, five lives, so you can have five out of bounds just before the game ends. All right, now, just to uh, make room for that, over here in the script, I'm going to delete a few of these comments out of the way for now. And we need to extend um, this bottom one here. All right, so what we need to do here is we need to broadcast a message that the ball has gone out of bounds, which we'll pass on to the kicker, and we'll do the lives on the kicker. So at the moment, we're on the ball sprite. Okay, so what we're going to do is use our control, our orange blocks. We're going to broadcast a message in here and it's going to be a new message so we'll just click on that arrow and say new and the message is going to be out of bounds okay and that's all we need to do there is just uh, have the ball broadcast that message that's out of bounds now some people also said this scream mail sound wasn't really good here so we're going to use a different sound in sounds uh, we went to import, oh, we'll just do it again, import human, and there's a sound there called, no, it's not inhuman. All right, there's a sound called ya. Uh, let's go to sounds quickly. Um, maybe it was in music loops. 
I'm not sure where it is. This is a bit of a problem. Uh, vocals. Okay, vocals. Yeah. 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 That one there. Yeah. All right. So we've got yeah in. I'll just take out that extra one. And what we will do on the ball sprite is instead of that screaming male, we'll just use yeah for when it goes out of bounds. All right. Because people didn't like the screaming male. A couple of people had tried out the game. Okay, so broadcast out of bounds. Now, our last thing to do here is to go on to the kicker sprite, and this is where we are going to set up all the lives, all right? So we're going to need a when clicked, and we will have to go to the orange one's variables, and we want to go up to this top one, make a new variable, and that new variable is going to be called lives, and we'll click OK on that. So when we start off the game here on the kicker, we want to set the kicker's lives to zero. The next thing we need is back in control, a forever if loop. All right, and the forever if loop is going to be that if the lives have dropped down to zero, so we need to go to operators, this green one here, and get an operator that says something's equal to something. All right, and what we're going to use in the first thing is we go back to the orange variables. We are going to use the variable live, so we just drag it out here from the top and park it into that bracket. And if the lives have dropped down to zero, meaning no lives are left, then we will have the kicker guy say something. So we'll go to looks, and the kicker guy is going to say um, here, no lives left. So that'll give us a message that the game's about to end. All right, so no lives left. And we'll set that for, say, three seconds here. And we're going to broadcast a message then. So back to control. And the message we're going to broadcast is that the game is over. All right, so on here we need to have a new one and have... Um, this one called Game Over. I'm not sure why that whistle's going at the moment, but uh, all right. So we've got when clicked, lives are zero. Uh, once the lives drop down to zero, now we need to set the lives, sorry, not to zero here, I've made a mistake. We need to give the guy some lives. We'll set them to five to start off with when it's clicked at the start of the game. The kicker guy, remember on the kicker guy spray at the moment, he's got five lives. Um, as long as when the lives drop down to zero, we want it forever if to keep checking that, it's, the kicker's going to yell out, hey, no lives left, and broadcast a message game over. And that game over message is going to link into our game over sign at the end of the game. All right, the last thing we need here is on the orange blocks, we need a message when I receive. So whenever the kicker receives an out of bounds message from the ball, then we need to go to the orange variables here and change the lives, but we don't want to give them an extra life. What we actually want to do is turn that into minus one and take a life away. All right, so that's pretty much our kicker code done there. Okay then, so let's go over to the game here and try it out for how it's going so far. We've scored a goal yeah. out of bounds, we've lost a life, but hang on, the game stopped. Now, also the lives here, we could just move those round on the screen. So just on our screen here, we're just going to move them around and make them look a bit better. We'll have the lives on one side, the score on the other. Now, why did the game stop after um, we only lost one life? Well, if we go back to the ball sprite here down the bottom, click on the ball sprite, we've still got that stop all in there all right so let's just take that out and throw that away and go back to the game here and just try again quickly and this isn't going to be quickly because the ball is going to bounce around a little bit okay we scored that's good um all right let's try and just lose some lives here no we can't do that all right oh, i'm too good i'm kicking all the time let's move that player right out the edge here and see if we can miss some and lose some lives, all right? So don't kick it, don't kick it, guy. Lose lives. Yeah. All right, that's one life gone. Um, that's another yeah. life gone. All right, yeah. you can see the lives up the top there, the yeah. countdown on them, and yeah. there we are, no lives left. Okay, and this is where we need to now finish off by yeah. doing the game over part of the... Um, the game here and then we'll be finished.
Okay, let's do this. Now we need to go underneath the game here on New Sprite, Paint a New Sprite. In there we're going to get the text tool and we'll just use any old color at the moment. The font we want to use is, uh, we've decided in advance, we'll just click more down the bottom here and more and still more <laughs> because we want Ewig Factory and we want size 60 is going to be good. And so we should be able to type now game over but that's not coming out now that's see this black dot this is a handle where you can grab your text so on that black dot if we drag it out here now um that sprite's fitting on there all right and if you scroll across we can see we've got the game over now the color we're going to use for that if we just go back on the text tool and click on that guy um drag the mouse over to highlight all of him the color we are going to use is white. A light blue color would be okay, but we're just going to go for a white color here. So we're going to have a white game over message and we say okay. All right, that game over message is now on our screen. We can just reposition it a little bit, maybe up there is where it's going to look good. And on this sprite now where we've got that all set up on the new sprite, up the top here in the middle, let's rename that sprite and we'll call it Game Over. And remember on the kicker, let's go back to the kicker and his script. When he receives out of bounds, he's reducing his lives. Remember down the bottom here, if the lives drop down to zero, he's going to broadcast this message Game Over. So our Game Over sprite, if we go back to that, we need that to um, in control when it receives, when I receive game over is what we're going to need. But we don't need that just yet because the thing is if you go back and look at our game here, the game over message is appearing and if we start that game, the game over message is already there and that's not good. So we need to do a thing which is called hiding a sprite. So in the controls here, get the when the game started, when green flag is clicked at the start of the game, we go to looks and on this game over sprite we are going to hide it down the bottom here there's a hide all right and that'll mean when the game starts that sprite will disappear now let's go over to the game and i'll just show you how that works all right so that game over sprite yeah. has disappeared and we can play the yeah. game all right the next thing we need to do now is just set up that when i receive game over and that's pretty simple when the game over message is received by this game over sign sprite we just want to show that sprite let's bring that sprite back out again and put it on the screen and the last thing we need to do is in control down the very bottom here we need to stop the game so we'll just put in a stop all there and that should complete all of the um, sprites and scripting for our game. So let's just go over to the right hand screen here and try it out and see what happens. All right, bit slow there with that angle kick. Uh, we have scored a goal uh, and the score was one. Let's try score one more goal maybe. All right, let's try miss everything yeah. now. Out of bounds, we've lost a life. Out of yeah. bounds, we've missed another one. Oh, look, I'm moving away and I yeah. missed it. Uh, out of bounds, we've got... Okay, yeah. one life left. Now it's saying up the top and yeah. no lives left on the player yeah. and game over message appears. And that is, in fact, our finished soccer game. We can just look at it here if we up the top right-hand corner in full presentation mode and play it. So we've got five lives to start off with. We can score goals and... Yeah. We can uh, lose lives if things go out of bounds. Yeah. There was a little bit of glitching on the screen there. I'm not sure what's yeah. causing that uh, on my computer. Yeah. Um, out of bounds and suddenly, yeah. uh-oh, no lives left. Yeah. And game over. And that is the finished soccer game, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, you can go to the details on the YouTube video. We'll have a link to our website where we will have screen prints of all of the script code and it will be fully commented. And uh, you can then see all parts one, two, and three from our website. Look at the YouTube videos and why not have a go at building this yourself because it's a really fun little game. Okay, this is Patsy's World of ICT and thank you for watching.